Hi, Steve here from photomasteryclub.com and in this quick video tutorial I'm going to show you a technique that's really useful for making your green grass and trees in your images really pop. So it's going to involve a couple of steps and one of those steps is creating a luminosity mask. Uh, it's kind of at the beginner end of the spectrum when it comes to how complicated luminosity masking can get but if you just follow the steps in this video you'll at least be able to uh, to do this technique uh, and use it on your own images. Um, if you want to dive deeper into luminosity masking after watching this then I've got a couple of courses available in the uh, Photo Mastery Club membership so there should be a link below this video if you want to go and check that out. Otherwise let's crack on with this tutorial. So there are images where this technique is good for and where it works really well um, and this one on the screen at the moment is a great example of that. So what we're looking to do with this is take all of these, um, you know, all these sort of potentially nice greens and yellows. So we've got all these bushes here and there's not really many trees, but it's kind of that, uh, you know, that color that trees would be, which is why this works great on, on trees as well. Um, so yeah, what we're looking to do is really give this a boost in saturation and brightness uh, because both of those together will make it really pop. So the first step is actually a bit, uh, a bit weird. I'm going to add a black and white uh, adjustment layer. We're not going to use this, but the reason we're creating it is so that we can pick out the, uh, the greens in the image to then create a luminosity mask from. So what we're going to do is reduce the uh, sliders here on everything apart from greens and yellows and you'll see certain parts of the shot there getting dark and what we're going to do with the yellows the yellows is going to have more of an impact than greens actually green might not do much at all um, when you've got green things in your image um, you know especially in a sort of natural environment like this you'll be surprised that it's actually uh, mostly made up of yellows when it comes to pixels. So what we're going to do is increase the slider there on the yellows and we'll give the greens a little bit as well. Actually, there's very little happening, but we'll just boost that as well. So all of the sliders down to the bottom apart from yellows and greens. And you'll see when, when I do that, all the sort of green parts of the shot there are um, getting brighter. So what that's going to allow us to do is now come into the channels panel and I'm going to press command on the keyboard or that's on a Mac or that would be control if you're using a PC. I'll press command and then I'll click on the RGB channel and now I'll come back over into my layers panel and I'm going to add a curves adjustment. And now once I've done that, I can actually just either hide this black and white layer or just throw it away. We don't need that anymore. And so as it is, that's not going to change anything because I haven't, uh, I haven't altered the curve. But when I just grab the uh, curve and push it upwards there to, uh, to brighten the image, what you'll see is that it's only in these green and yellowy areas where that curve is taking effect. Now it is going up in the sky here as well because if we uh, if we look at the layer mask actually I'll just hold uh, Option or Alt on the keyboard and click that so we can see this layer mask is uh, you know this is what's applied to this layer and the brighter the pixels in this mask the more of this brightening curve effect we're going to actually see in the image so just because of the nature of this particular shot the uh, the sky the clouds and the uh, snow up on the mountain there are really bright anyway so what you might want to do when you uh, when you use this for yourself is just you know come in afterwards uh, with a black brush and just run that through the uh, the areas that you don't want to be affected by this brightening curve so I'll do that just now in the sky um, but that's kind of an optional step really uh, the main thing here is to get that brightening effect down in the foreground or wherever those nice green colors are. So that's the first step, but where this really sort of comes into its own is when combined with a uh, just a simple hue saturation layer. 
So I'm going to add one of those now. And now just like when I was uh, using the black and white layer to create that luminosity mask from, what I'm going to do is uh, select the yellows in the uh, in this drop down. So what I'm going to do now is increase the saturation only in the yellows of the shot. So as I do that, you'll see the uh, yeah the all this foreground here is uh, brightening up nicely and getting nice and saturated, and it's not looking over the top. I mean, I could <laughs> you can see how far you can go there. Uh, you're not going to want to sort of go all the way to 100%. Probably just do it by eye to to sort of stop where it looks good. And uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it really for this technique. So just these two layers here, but with the additional step of adding that black and white layer in order to pick out the colors that you want to affect with these two adjustments. Uh, well, at least with the curves adjustment, and then we're doing the same kind of selection with the, uh, with the hue saturation. But let me just show you the before and after to see what that looks like. And you know, that's it's quite a nice, um, yeah, quite a nice increase just with two quick, easy layers there. So of course you can always come in and you know, readjust the uh, the curves adjustment after you've added the saturation. Uh, in this case, I think just brightening it up even more is gonna gonna add even more impact to this particular shot. So just with those two simple layers, we see uh, you yeah, know we've made quite an effect there. So I'll just um, yeah I'll just do this same thing again. I'll run through it a bit quicker this time, just on a different shot. Uh, just to kind of show you how this, you know, this kind of works across various uh, images. So, first step was with the black and white layer, and we're going to reduce all of the uh, all of the sliders, apart from greens and yellows. Greens probably isn't going to do much. Actually, you might, you know, you might want to just test the effect of removing the greens here and just increasing the yellows as well. Um, you know, do a bit of trial and error there. So, as you can see, by boosting the yellows to 300, we've really got quite a lot of uh, isolation in the foreground here. Those those grasses are really sort of standing out now. Uh, the water is also quite bright. So when we create the mask from this, um, you know that's going to brighten up with our curves adjustment as well. So again, you might want to do some um, manual layer masking after the fact here, but Let's just pop back over into channels and I'll click our command or control click on the RGB channel back over into layers, curves adjustment, hide the black and white layer and let's give that a bit of a boost again. So we can see we've got the brightening there. Uh, that's quite good. Might come back to that and just fine tune it in a second. Uh, first let's add that hue saturation layer. Grab the yellows from the drop down and let's pump the uh, saturation up in the yellows. And we can see that's really starting to come to life there in the foreground now. And as it turns out, the water here isn't uh, you know, isn't going too far. So I, I think I won't bother masking the water out. But um, you know, if I was going to be processing this shot, I might just pay extra attention to these whites up here in the background so that they don't overexpose. But uh, yeah, really, that is how you do it so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed these uh, tips in this quick tutorial uh, like I said if you want to dive a lot deeper into luminosity masking then we've got two courses one is uh, kind of like a in between beginner and intermediate and then we've got the luminosity masking mastery course now available inside the uh, photo mastery club membership so just click the link below this video if you're interested in uh, checking that out otherwise I will speak to you again soon thanks for watching